Lakers. You didn't get Kyrie. What's next? Where are you going? That's a few of the Close the door. <laughs> so, here's the thing, man. First of all, you lose to the Pelicans. And I'm already upset about that. No, I don't sound like I feel better yeah. talking about the, uh, teams don't lose some games. Yeah. Especially good teams. And yeah, I was like, like, bro, don't worry. We're going to get Kyrie anyways. Yeah, you were saying that. I guess what we didn't get Kyrie. <laughs> so we just took it out. Bro, you just lost like back to back. At least the Clippers didn't get water. Kyrie could have been a problem. He could have left them free agency. He could have... Could have done a lot of things. And uh, you know, let, let's look at it this way. Palenka did try his best. Yeah, shout include, out to Palenka. We're sorry, Palenka. We've he been did include critical. both first round picks. Makes me feel like he is all in on making a move. So I do think that a move's gonna happen. Obviously, the next one that we're feeling is that Rogers one. That's that would be yeah, that's my favorite one. Getting Gary Trent Jr. and Fred Van Fleet. Even just Gary Trent, honestly, like Gary Trent will be a fire addition. You know, getting some shooting. And uh, the great thing is that we can make two moves. We could do the Raptors one, for example, and do the Pacers one too. So we get Gary Trent for Buffy and Buddy Hill. That at that point, adding so much shooting. And, you know, you're getting rid of Westbrook, which, you know, we have we have our thoughts on also Westbrook. It's funny because this Pelicans game, he started off the first time. <laughs> She's so funny. Yeah, she funny. We're talking about Alice Dog, man. Put a face around the yeah. screen. Shout out to Alice Dog. And there's other moves, you know, like the Jazz one, which I like it. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm not against it, you know, it's nothing crazy. It's not one that makes me go like, wow. Okay, let's just break it down, I guess. Nah, so, let's go. Uh, so Raptors, the ones that we've been seeing is Trent and F and Fred. And we would also get like a Ken Burst, yeah, um, which, which is, is what I said throwing. So it'll be, like Damon Jones. Yeah, it'll be Russ and, and Russ Jones. I was saying Russ Jones just to get rid of him and two first. And I don't know what the, I don't know what the Raptors are doing. That's the thing too, like we don't understand what Raptors, what the Raptors or what any team wants. If the Raptors want to rebuild, rebuild, that's a great trade. If not, then I don't know. You know, the other one was try to get OG. Now there's probably gonna be better offers nah, for OG. That's, that's the thing. That's not. That's keep it away. Nah. Then there's a the Utah Jazz. So you got Conley, Vanderbilt, and Beasley. Now you know, like Conley, he's a veteran point guard. He's a, he's a cool player. Yeah, but he he's play on and off the ball. Pro. If if he can guarantee us that he's gonna be healthy, I don't mind getting. I don't mind. Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt. That's a fire role player. Yeah, that's a fire role player. It gives you a lot of energy. He's a good passer and he's a great defender. You know, pick up. He can pick up a guard full court and he can also guard. The other team's uh, big man. And then Beasley. One of the best shooters in the NBA. A volume shooter. Can come off the bench yeah, and just snipe. This man do some that. research. That he's one of the best worst the defenders, defenders in the NBA. Yeah, Look, I'm going to say this, and I've said this about Buddy Hield. I think if you put a bad defender in a good system, they could become a better defender. Russ has never been a good defender in his career, but he has the capabilities to be one. So I think I think we can do the same thing for Michael Beasley. Did I look? No, Michael Beasley. That's another player that we were thinking of getting, by the way. Random Michael Beasley. No, no, with that. Bro, you forgot to put the picture. Damn. I accidentally sold them. Forgot to put the picture, but we got an awesome one. Uh, so Michael Beasley, my, I mean Malik Beasley, his his wingspan is six seven. There's some defensive capabilities right there. I, I look. I think look look at Lonnie Walker. I don't think there's anything about uh, Malik Beasley that would make him a bad defender. I think it's just about trying and being in the good in a good system. So, I mean. The defense doesn't scare me that much. He's not a lockdown defender. And look, my, my Conley, he's made all defensive teams. Jared Vanderbilt, again, great defender. So that's not really, the defense not something that scares me. What scares me with that is like, is that enough to win? Win a championship. At the end of the day, nothing matters except winning. In this point in LeBron's career, the only thing that, that we're looking at is, is winning a championship. Being able to get Trent and Fred, I mean, look, yeah. I don't care now how bad talking. of a season. Look, I think... Fred Fred Van Vliet's season is getting overblown. If you look at his stats, he's not playing as bad as he's done in other and years. I yes, recently he has picked it up. Pick it up yeah. And yes, it's been bad. It's the is work is bad. But if you look at it in other careers, so for example, like his field goal percentage, his field goal percentage has always been bad. Of course, he's a small guard. But then you put him in the Lakers, you're playing with LeBron AD. You're gonna shoot better. Yeah, shoot better. But you're gonna have more open looks. And he's a pit bull type defender. You know what I'm saying? Like a Kyle Lowry. Dude, so, that should be so good. Yeah, like, Gary Trent is a good defender. Like just us talking about it right now, dude. I want That's to my favorite. Badly. And then we could do another trade too. We can get a Kelly Oubre, you know, a nice long defensive wing, or a Buddy Hield, which is a super sniper. Yeah. So, but honestly, the other the other trades like the Spurs one, I, I'm not even mess with that anymore. I don't mess with the Spurs. And one. the 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 Hornets one, yeah, I'm interested in Rozier, but Hayward. Well, I mean, sadly, he's super injury prone. Kelly Oubre, even he, he's injured right now. Man, he's a bad. He, he's a he's a volume shooter. And I don't How would I mind getting Ter Terosh and Kelly Oubre? Like, uh, that's interesting. Like, that could work out. And Buddy Hield, I think Buddy Hield would be like a secondary trade. Uh, we could make all the other trades and still get Buddy Hield on side. Yeah. And I, I think we should. I think we, we will get him. Honestly, I think... You think Buddy? I, I think we will. I think, I think if the Lakers want to, I think we could get him. I'll say that. Yeah. By trading Lonnie and Beverly. I, I believe in Rappelink. I know. I, I think his job is on the line. Um, I'm Straight serious. up? Straight up. Why? Do you think that... 
down at the Lakers. They got a, they got that guy at Unibus. Maybe there there's two ways to look at it. I think Rob Pelinka understands that maybe his job isn't on the line in terms of the Lakers, but I don't think he's ever going to be a GM again if he messes this up. I, I don't that. think no other team okay. is going to want him as a GM. I wouldn't say that his job is not on, but I think this LeBron AD thing is on the line. This that's what I'm, yeah. Okay. And that's why it makes his job on the line. Because having to, being the only person in the world that's ever traded LeBron James. Do that, bro. And if you don't do anything, do LeBron's out of there, bro. And AD is leaving with I'm sorry. If, if they don't do that, then I lost a little bit of respect for LeBron and AD. Especially LeBron. Because you're showing that you don't want to win. You're adding it. You're, we got to remember this as, as not only Laker fans, but also LeBron fans. And everybody should understand. No, this. but I, I, I think we have seen this season that LeBron really wants to win. This match cared a lot this whole year. Too. We cannot afford to be okay. LeBron can't. You have LeBron James. You have to be able to compete. And I saw this video, and they were saying like, "Look, last year LeBron understood that there was nothing they could do yeah. for trades. He understood that whatever they got a rush. That's they same with this team. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Right? But this team, I mean, you could just tell. Look, there's look, potential. There's potential, potential and he yeah. understands that. Yeah. And a lot of people understand that. It's about, we gotta look at it this one, man. There's only, and this is gonna sound crazy, there's only 28 games left. Yeah. You're the 13th seed in the West. The West is still open, but it's closing up. The more time that passes by, the less of a chance we have to make the playoffs. Look, and we got a little bit lucky with the Curry thing. You know, hopefully, it gets better soon. I'm not yeah, saying yeah, yeah, we're yeah, of course. Yeah. We don't want to injure anybody. Uh, nobody, like, but, but the Warriors are gonna go down. Like, it's, the Warriors have had a very tough season. You yeah, know, so sucks for them, but yeah. Kind of similar to the Rams, in a way. <laughs> no, super <laughs> random, yeah. So, man, like, okay, the Lakers still have a slim chance. But if you keep this team, keep it in a bug, you might make it to a play in Brazil. You got to be able to win. And I think, I really do believe Gary Trent, Gary Trent and Fred Van Lee, they solve a lot of issues. And then even being able to get another trade, because look, you guys, guys like Austin Reeves, Dennis Schroeder, uh, Thomas Austin Bryant. Austin is still putting up, yeah. Yeah, uh, Thomas Bryant. Uh, you got Rui now. LeBron and Anthony Davis. That's a nice little... Core of role players. Now, obviously not counting LeBron and Anthony Davis. But if you put them with players, like Fred Van Lee has been an all-star in this league. I think we forget that. Um, Gary Trent, I mean, come on. You know how important Gary Trent is? Dude, I'm not getting on fire, bro. Definition of a 3 and D. He's a, he's a chugger. And sometimes you need that. And then if you can get a Buddy Heald or another defensive specialist as a, in, a, in the wing position. Are you kidding me? We put ourselves in a chance to legitimately win a championship. There's no super teams out there in the NBA. There's not. I mean, yeah, the Celtics and the Bucks look I mean, we're just up. talking about it right now. That the Maori's got Kyrie. And yeah, maybe that's not the best team, but they have a chance. They have a chance to win. Not, the, yeah. There's nobody else in the West that you're like, oh, yeah, we can't leave Especially that. Especially nobody, the West. Bro. So it's like, if you have an opportunity, bro, do it. And then worry about the past. The, I mean, worry about the future in the future. Obviously, don't do some bullshit like trade. Like, trade both like first round picks. Like trading Austin Reeves, Max yeah. first round picks for like a bum. Like. A bum, yeah. Don't do that, of course. But, but I think there's opportunity out there. And... I want to be I want to believe that they're going to take it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, click that post notification. Peace out.